Hampton Downs is the venue for the final round of the Castrol BMW Race Series. First up, it's the Open Series. Here's points leader, Andre Cowan. The handicap race didn't go too good for you yesterday, Andre. Uh, no, it didn't. Uh, I qualified uh, too, too quick a time, so I was handicapped to hell. Uh, and I was put way back in the way back in the field, and it meant that uh, I just couldn't couldn't catch up to the front guys. Uh, so not a great finish, no. So in Sue, the final round, it is Andre Cowan with the points lead, looking for his second championship win ahead of Warwick Mortimer, Michael Starnes, Aaron Harris, Graham Fraser, and defending champ Michael Dalmonts. So to the first race on Sunday at Hampton Downs, another massive entry. Windscreen wipers on, so a little bit hazy in the morning for the first run. The legends of speed meeting at Hampton Downs, and it's a heads-up start, fastest cars to the front. Carrying on board camera for us is the championship leader, Andre Cowan. And as we heard with the interview with Barry Brown, just admitting that he almost qualified too well and had to start so far back and with such a big field, just really, really difficult to get through the big traffic. So the windscreen wipers on, a little bit of light rain over the race surface. There's Warwick Mortimer, Aaron Harris up ahead. Andre Cowan is the race leader. Pretty much all Andre Cowan has to do is finish around Warwick Mortimer as Warwick Mortimer has a big twitch under acceleration up towards the hairpin. Barry Kirk Banan making up some progress as well in the second of the M3 GTR replicas. Car number 5.30, Andrew Timms is in the mix as well. Tim's qualifying an excellent seventh position. So back on board, looking out the rear window of Andre Cowan. So there's Aaron Harris. He's in that Class B points battle with Cowan and Michael Starnes. Starnes back there in that fifth position in the bright yellow number 170 BMW. So these wet conditions will probably suit the lesser horsepowered, lighter cars as opposed to the fire-breathing big V8s, the M3 GTRs of Mortimer and Barry Kirk Benand. No Mike Delmont this weekend, unfortunately. The reigning champ with some engine issues decided not to contest the final round of the championship. Here's Mortimer going through the giant killing Andrew Timms. And he's running right there with Mortimer. So this is the second race of the weekend at Hampton Downs. For race number one on the Saturday, it was Graham Fraser in the Class B BMW from Nigel Patterson, Martin Seddon, Fred Geiser, Aaron Harrison, and Bob Seavright. A few of the heavy hitters just struggling with traffic in race number one. So three class battles over the championship duration. Class A for the open cars, Class B for the under two and a half litre cars on dot tyres and Class C for under two litre also on dot tyres. It's Michael Starnes looking up the inside of Tim's. This will be for the fourth position. Nice clean pass off the exit of the final turn at Hampton Downs. So tricky conditions. Andre Cowan with the race lead. So with the championship over all six rounds, points carry for each of the results from each of the three races over the race weekends, and the drivers get to drop their three worst race results over the six rounds. And with that, Cowan leading the championship pretty handily over Warwick Mortimer, although Mortimer would have gained some points in the first race on Saturday with Mortimer finishing in the eighth position. Result Andre Cowan could manage with 16th. There's Neville Finlay. He didn't start the first race on Saturday with some issues with that beautiful Z3M coupe. Oh, big sideways moment and around and the doorway just did he clip someone on the way past. That was so close. There's Grant Clegg going through in the BMW 2002. So a great recovery there from Finlay. Let's see what happens. Just gets on the throttle a little bit too hard. Car snaps sideways, tries to correct and overcorrects, understeers across the track. Oh, I thought there was a clip there initially. As Barry Kirk Banan slipped through on the outside. Here is the N3 GTR replica of Barry Kirk Banan. Sensational sounding machine. 
just might be struggling in these wet conditions. And you can hear the V8 bellowing up the front straight at Hampton Downs in front of the apartments. Andre Cowan leads from Warwick Mortimer. Aaron Harris, Michael Starnes, Andrew Timms, Graham Fraser. In the sixth position ahead of Barry Kirk Benand, and they're into lap traffic already. Eight laps. The sixth and final round of the Castrol BMW Race Series from Hampton Downs. The Legends of Speed weekend. And the BMW Open Class Racing named in honour of Denny Holm over the three races. Looking back out on board, Andre Cowan with a very, very handy lead. And he'll be thriving in these conditions, the youngster. He's a very busy young man this year, also contesting the NZGT series, which he was leading as well as the BMW Open Championship. The X International Motorsport multiple championship winning BMW 325, driven by the likes of Craig Beard and Jason Richards to numerous championships. And here's Aaron Harris. doing the job in a big battle between himself, Michael Starnes and Graham Fraser. The Class B. There's car triple seven, Bob Seavright. He's running up inside the top 10. And the thundering Barry Kirk Benand flame-throwing BMW M3 GTR. So looking out the rear window of Andre Cowan's 325. There he is coming into shot down into turn number one. So certainly the championship back on track. Wasn't really away from him after that first race 16th place finish. He could afford to be a little bit conservative with the points lead with the three drops over the races, over the six rounds. Just going by Gordon Legg there, who's leading Class C for the under two leader. Class in the Open Series. So Cowan won this championship two seasons ago. Mike Delmont picked it up last year in the BMW 2002 Turbo. Cowan gave him a big run for his money, though. The thing about this car... ..is this car has finished something like 95 out of 99 races. 96, I think it is, out of 99. Since young Andre's campaigned it. So he's done an amazing job with the reliability. Pretty much standard engine and drive line as we go to the last lap. He and his dad do all their own fabrication and maintenance. Andre at the University of Auckland. He's doing a degree in mechanical engineering. Lots of oversteer. It's a wonderful sequence of corners at that part of the track. Fast and flowing. Working up the hill towards the hairpin. Slowest corner on the track. Just drop down the hill under brakes. Two or three different lines at that part of the track. And look at the gap back to Warwick Mortimer. He's just turning into turn two. With Aaron Harris right on his rear bumper. So Mortimer doing all he needs to do to try and keep in check with Andre Cowan. But I think he needs for Cowan to have some issues. With one more race left to go, Cowan to the outside of lap traffic, towards the chequered flag, up the hill. With just the handicap finale to come, Cowan will take the victory. Race two of the weekend at Hampton Downs for the Castro BMW Opens. And it's a massive gap back to Warwick Mortimer. Well over 25 seconds, so lots of lap traffic between himself 
and Mortimer, who should cross the line in second as the rest of the smaller class cars come home. So Andre Cowan in the end, it was a 28 second victory. Domination over Warwick Mortimer, Aaron Harris, Michael Starnes and Andrew Timms. Aaron Harris, the first of the class Bs. He managed to win that one easily and you, you think unofficially that may be just enough points to win the title. Uh, yeah, that's right. Um, it was sort of a uh, bit of rain started happening just as we were going out and then continued for the whole race. And uh, sort of by the third corner I had a pretty big lead and just continued that lead until until the end. And uh, yeah, just sort of having a look at the points last night, I think uh, I might have just done it for the championship. So that's great. Worked out pretty good for the first few laps there with the, uh, the track being a little bit damp, Aaron. Yeah, there was a little bit of drizzle just as we went out the gate. So because uh, we run a dot tile for grooving it, and the other guys running slicks, we had to uh, make hay while the sun shine. You know, we knew it wasn't going to rain for long, so we tried to push on as fast as we could before the track dried out, and the slicks really started working. If I got faster slap in this race that we've just had, and I can uh, get enough or get far enough ahead of them in the handicap race, which I did yesterday, um, there's still a, a smidgen of a chance, but. You know, he's driving well and he did really well in that race uh, for slicks. He was like all over the show, <laughs> like he was, uh, he was uh, struggling and, and having really nice big slides. But uh, in a couple of times he nearly lost it, but you know, congratulations to him because he did a bloody good job. Welcome back to Hampton Downs, the final race of the championship, the sixth and final round for the Castrol BMW Opens. One more race to go. Are you feeling fairly confident you can top that, that B class? Yeah, yeah we, sh we should be fine, but anything can happen, you know, like if, if we don't finish or, you know, there's a lot of cars to get through. And so sometimes it works in your favour with handicaps and other times it doesn't, so it's not over till it's over. So the final race of the 2010 Championship for the Castrol BMW Race Series, the Open Class, it's been an entertaining series with entries averaging around that 35 to 40 cars. So this is a handicap start based on lap times throughout the weekend. So the smaller class cars will be first away. Car number 35, Judy DeLuva, is one of those first cars away. Car number 60, Russell Grace, was the first car away, the BMW 2002. So again, watch for the faster cars to have to start from the back. And I would suggest probably the likes of Mortimer, Cowan and maybe a couple of others will probably come out of pit lane for this one. So again, just eight laps to try and get to the front for the first race on Saturday. The faster guys actually struggled to get to the front with the handicap and the amount of traffic on the racetrack. Again, the entry this weekend, 32 cars, which is just outstanding. And we talk about the BMW E30s, so they've had to split into groups, such as being the entry in the E30s. So there's some of the quicker cars away. 307, Nigel Patterson, 303, Chris Watson, 142, Graham Fraser. Fraser up inside the top six in the championship. He's in that Class B battle with Michael Starnes. And Aaron Harris. Aaron Harris looking to tie up Class B with this race. On board with the number four of Milan Klinak. Carrying our onboard camera for this one. And here come the quick boys out of pit lane. Starnes, Steve Wright, and the lead has just gone by them. So these guys are a lap down. The likes of Neville Finlay, Aaron Harris. Oh, Harris with a big sideways moment. This will be Andre Cowan with a lot of work to do. Probably the better part of a lap and a quarter, a lap and a third down on the first car away, Russell Grace. You can just see the NZG up in the top left hand corner of the screen because Cowan's also been double duting in the NZ GT Championship, which he currently leads. Here's Barry Kirk Banan, BMW M3 GTR. How beautifully built by Race FX. It is a stunning, stunning piece of kit, this car. Get the opportunity to check it out. There's not too many more cars. 
better presented than this in New Zealand, currently racing right now. A lot of development going on. Here's Neville Finlay in the number 48 Z3M Coupe, sponsored by Zambezi. So these are the quick guys working their way through. Finlay, Aaron Harris. So for overall, as we heard from Andre Cowan unofficially going into this race, it looks like they'd already tied up the championship ahead of Mortimer and Michael Starnes for Group A, obviously Andre Cowan in open. Group B, Aaron Harris. He's in battle with Michael Starnes and Graham Fraser. Really out of this race, it's between Harris and Starnes. And for Group C, Gordon Legs pretty much tied up the Group C championship ahead of Will Gray and Richard Spedding not too far away. So we'll see how that equates at the end of this one. The handicap race, race cars all over the racetrack. Car 51 working the wide line. David Lawrence back on board with Milan Kleenak in the number four. That's Grant Clegg just up ahead in the BMW 2002. Car number 107. Here's Warwick Mortimer rounding up some of the slower traffic, trying to get his way to the front. So again, Andre Cowan with a big handicap to try and make up here. But he doesn't need to panic, doesn't need to do anything silly. Warwick Mortimer, as he said, if he set the fastest lap and won the previous race, he had a chance. He did set the previous lap, but he finished second to Cowan. So Andre Cowan in the box seat. So he's still behind the leading car, which is Russell Grace in the Burgundy number 60 BMW 2002. There he is there. So Cowan now back on the lead lap. But he's only got four or five laps to try and get back around. Oh, I think he's going to be up against it in that respect. So up the hill, just towards the hairpin. Lots of other cars on the other side of the track. Car number nine, Ross Gardner in the Precision Air. E30, car 15's in there as well. That's Phil Laird and a big group of cars. 30 going through, Colin Briscoe. Car number 87, David Brace. The JPS replica. Colours made famous by Jimmy Richards in Australia. The BMW 635s and the BMW M3s, of course. So this is a midfield battle. Brace looking down the inside of Gardner at the hairpin. So again, this open class just covering a wide variety of the BMW mark. Everything from the BMW 2002s, M3s, 318 and 320 E30s. Some of these cars do double duty in the E30 series. But some of them are carrying bigger engines, so that's why they're not allowed to run with the E30s. Back on board with the four of Milan Kleenak. Looking for that outside run in amongst a host of E30s. E34 shaped BMW, three and a half litre, six cylinder. It's busy down towards turn two here. Looked like Kleenek trying to get down the inside of Dave Brace. So lots of action on the track, over 30 entries. There's Dave Lawrence in the number 51. Ross Gardner in the precision here, number nine, back on board with Kleenak. That'll be Zach Lawrence to his left in the black BMW 635. Kleenak, big battle on his hands here with Gardner. Briscoe to the left as well. 
just looking for a different line. That's allowed Lawrence to get up the inside. This is busy up the hill, three and four wide. Some of the quicker cars starting to make their presence felt now. There goes Mortimer going through Barry Kirk Bernand. Starnes and Harris running nose to tail. Harris with the lights on. As the last lap board is out, so the quick guys are not going to get to the front. Russell Grace is still your race leader. So this is the battle up towards the front. Oh, one sparing off, I think. That is Phil Laird in the number 15. BMW E30. So he's gone off into the sand trap. So Mortimer's working his way through up inside the top 10. Russell Grace still leads in the BMW 2002. Oh, Zach Lawrence sideways. In the black BMW 635, so is Michael Starnes. In the yellow car, Barry Kirkbanan going by him. So for the majority, the handicapping hasn't gone too badly because it's a big group of cars heading for the finish line on the last lap. Graham Fraser, Starnes and Aaron Harris back on board with Cowan. He's back in behind that group of cars heading down towards the final turn. So he's certainly not going to win it, but he's won the championship. Just one corner coming up, Andre Cowan, his second BMW Open Series Championship as Russell Grace takes the victory from Martin Seddon. Grant Clegg will be third. Andre Cowan wins the overall championship in Class A. Aaron Harris ties up Class B, and Gordon Legg will be the Class C winner for 2010. So for the final race of the Open Class Championship, Russell Grace takes the win in the BMW 2002 from Seddon. Clegg, Dave Brace, Warwick Mortimer finished fifth from the pit lane ahead of Zach Lawrence, David Lawrence, and Aaron Harris. And that last race, obviously a handicap race, but um, you, you learned enough to win and, and win by a huge margin too. Yes, I think the handicapper might have been a bit kind to me, but never mind, that's that's handicapping, so <laughs> we'll, we'll take it as we get it. So you intend racing the class again next year and uh, obviously coming back to Hampton Downs? I will be, yes, I really love the circuit and I think it's a real, real neat circuit and I'll be back to have another crack at it. Just not enough time left in the end to catch Andre? No, no, it was, uh, if we'd most probably won that race, uh, we may have been uh, sort of level pegging, but... Uh, I think I got a fifth there. I just got, you know, a lot of lot of traffic in front, and I would have set fastest time without a doubt, but uh, it was hard work. <laughs> Very busy racetrack out there. Oh, absolutely. I'm the handicapper, so I guess it's my job to try and get it close at the end, and uh, worked out pretty well. It was pretty busy behind me. I could see my mirror was pretty full. How exciting is it out there with uh, all that traffic? Oh, it's great. You just when you think you're getting on the car in front, all the fast cars come, start coming through from behind, and uh, the last two laps are just hectic. Officially, the, the winner of the Castrol BMW Open Series. Congratulations, Andre. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, sort of right from the start, um, I took the lead of the championship and uh, sort of never looked back. Uh, I'd like to actually thank all the people that have supported me over the season, uh, all my sponsors and everyone that's helped. There's been a lot of people that have helped me uh, uh, be able to achieve uh, this. So a uh, big thanks to all them. What actually got you into this class in the first place, Andre? Uh, well, probably just the the friendly uh, drivers and the good racing uh, and the relatively cheap um, budgets. And uh, no, it's been an awesome series to race in. So an outstanding performance from Andre Cowan, his second Open Championship ahead of Warwick Mortimer, Michael Starnes and Aaron Harris. Aaron Harris picking up the Class B Championship and Gordon Legg Class C.